Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros and today we present to you a $900 full gaming setup. And this setup is brought to you by our new friends over at Autumn Tech with their awesome monitor arms. We'll talk more about this monitor arm later in today's video. They have a lot of high-end monitor arms that you can pick up from dual to triple, but we have a single monitor arm here for this budget-friendly setup. It's very awesome with this gas shock built in where you can just, you know, lift it up real high or lay it down real low, nice and smooth. So really suggest checking out their monitor arms by clicking the link in the description down below. We'll link as many of them as we possibly can, but special thanks again to them for sponsoring this video. Um, but yeah, we have a full setup here and uh, we're very excited to show you what it's all about. So here we have a $600 PC that is actually on the channel. We'll have some links somewhere pop up on the screen, but it is inside of one of these Marvel cases and uh, they're pretty cool. They're like really budget. They've actually stuck around on Amazon for a little bit now because we actually have another one sitting over there somewhere for another build. But this has the um, i3-10100, and I think we used a different Intel cooler because I don't think it came with that nice black cooler. We have 16 gigs of Oli RAM at 3000 megahertz. We have a, it's a Gigabyte B460M motherboard. We have an RX 560, a 500 gig Western Digital Blue NVMe SSD, and an EVGA BA series power supply, which I believe is 500 watts, 80 plus bronze, black sleeve cables. Overall, it's a pretty nice build. Um, these cases are really cool too, because they come in usually under $60. You have the magnetic side panel, two RGB fans, relatively good airflow um, and relatively good build quality. And uh, we're pretty excited because we have a full setup to go along with this really nice PC that'll um, power everything really well. First up with the monitor and today's sponsor, Autumn Tech. For the monitor, we have the Pixio PX248PS, which we've actually used a few times in setups and is actually our main benchmarking monitor right now. It is a 1080p, 24 inch, 165 hertz monitor, which is definitely a little bit overkill for this PC that rocks a 560. But the main concept of the setup was, well, to make all the peripherals nice and good, because you can actually get that stuff right now, have a decent PC that, well, could push some decent frames and some esports titles. And then when you can upgrade this thing later with a better graphics card, you have a really awesome baller setup. And this monitor from Pixio is no exception, is pretty affordable. Now to, well, mount this thing, we have this Autumn Tech single monitor arm, which the specific model is the ATM S032. It has this nice silver chrome look to it. It's kind of different than other uh, monitor arms. We do have it attached with the clamp to the bottom of our desk here. Um, it does have some built-in cable management options if you want to run that as well. Very easy to install, just literally screw that in right there. Um, and it works with pretty much any VESA monitor. Very easy to install and as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, it is, well, gas powered. Yeah gas spring powered, so you can easily maneuver it around, flip it all over the place if you want to, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's a really cool monitor arm. And as again, Autumn Tech has a ton of different monitor arms that you should pick up for your next setup. So link down below, special thanks again to them for sponsoring this setup. Um, but yeah, very excited to be using it. Now for the other peripherals, this right here is one of our favorite mice right now for the money. This is the Razer Viper Mini. And as its name says, it's a mini mouse. It's pretty small. So if you have really big hands, it will kind of make it seem really small. Small, so there you go. But the Viper Mini is one pretty lightweight without being a really lightweight mouse with all those different like honeycomb holes in them that a lot of these newer lightweight mice come with. And it is pretty awesome for the money. It goes on sale a ton, sometimes down to like 20 bucks. So at that price point, it's honestly a no brainer and works really well in a budget setup. Next for the keyboard, we have the Pulsar Gaming Gears keyboard. This is their 10 keyless version, the Alloy TKL RGB. We really love Pulsar Gaming Gear stuff because one, they're readily available on Amazon. And also I really like the direction they go with their keyboards. I like how this keyboard has like a see-through back panel where you can actually see the PCB, just something a little bit unique. Some nice flip out feet, anti-slick pads. Honestly, one of the, uh, the best keyboards for whatever budget you're looking at, around 50 to $60 most of the time. But they also have these low profile like keycaps which is a little bit different. And the switches are red switches. So we absolutely love linear switches for gaming because while well, blue switches are a little bit loud and obnoxious and linears are normally the best way to go. And really for the money, you can't beat this keyboard. Now for the mouse mat, you might see down below, we have a generic link to basically any RGB mouse mat. This right here is the Corsair MM700 RGB. It is a more expensive mouse mat. It actually has like a USB pass through, which is kind of crazy. Um, you don't need to spend this much money on a mouse mat. Corsair was nice enough to send this thing over. So we 
decided to use it in this setup, but there are a lot of like cheaper RGB mouse mats that still look pretty cool, or you can just get any old mouse mat you want. Regardless, links down below will be affiliate links, and if you do purchase using those links, they will help us out. And last but certainly not least, the headset. This is the Razer Kraken X, which we kind of went with a mini Razer theme here. This is a pretty affordable budget headset that sounds pretty good and is pretty comfortable. We have used it before. Um, nice, comfy ear pads, good build quality, and it's a Razer product, so it works well with pretty much all their software. Um, no RGB or anything crazy like that because it is a budget headset, but at this price point, you're really just getting something that produces good audio and has a microphone so you can talk to your friends. So very excited to be using this headset. And also be sure to get that Allstate warranty when you buy it on Amazon. JK actually accidentally did that and it was a mistake. So please don't do that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the setup. How about we just go ahead and game on it, get some kills, play some Fortnite, crank some 90s, play a bunch of fun games and uh, see how it performs. All right, guys, so we are testing out a pretty much brand new game that just came out a week ago. This is Chivalry 2. Chivalry. Chivalry. Free Chivacadoo. We're on all medium settings right now, 1080p, no frame cap. I really don't think we're going to hit uh, the crazy 165 hertz this monitor can handle, but uh, we'll see. So far, it's looking pretty smooth, but who knows how the actual gameplay will be. We are doing the biggest mode you can do right now, which is 64 players, I believe. So Pretty demanding. Um, yeah, full lobby, too, so let's, let's see how this goes. And you yeah. guys should be able to get a little bit of audio, but you're not going to hear much because I just had the headset around my neck. Yeah. That 560 is definitely going to be the bottleneck, and it's just like when we did the video, the 560 is kind of like a placeholder card. But if you want to save money on this setup and maybe get it towards like $800, you can get just a basic 1080p. That was pretty baller. 1080p, 60 hertz of monitor and go that route. But we figured we'd get something that's upgradable in the future for uh, a better GPU, which is th this PC is really upgradable for that. I'm giving my battle card a scare then. Oh, oh my, my god, he come ahead off. But yeah, I mean, uh, this game really doesn't have any major issues. I guess if we wanted to have like a more uh, pretty experience, we could go to like maybe high settings and just kind of stay at like a locked 60, but I'd rather get like the slightly higher FPS. I guess you could probably go low settings and you might be able to get close to like 144. But in a game like this, you're just you're swinging an axe. Do you really need 144 FPS? What is this guy doing? Get out of taking a barrel. Yeah. Punch! Oh. Oh. Dude, I almost had him. All right, so yeah, this game runs pretty good. In case anyone was wondering how it runs in a 560 and a 1080p monitor, definitely playable. All right, guys, the next game we're gonna be testing is good old Fortnite. We are on performance mode right now with view distance set far, textures on medium, meshes on high. So we're gonna dive in real quick. This would be a game that would actually fully take advantage of that 165 hertz most of the time. If you wanna lower the settings a little bit, you probably get a little bit closer to 165 hertz. But from our benchmarks, you do get decently over 100 plus FPS. So really a 144 hertz monitor or 165 hertz, whatever one you go with, is gonna be, well, beneficial to you if you're playing esports titles like Fortnite. So we're gonna dive in real quick. Try to be a real gamer, get some kills, probably not gonna happen, uh, and then go from there. All right, guys, we have now landed, and look at that, that FPS is skyrocketing, and we're really taking advantage of that 165 hertz monitor. Hopefully we can find somebody and try to kill them, because, you know, we uh, wanna actually get some content here. But uh, yeah, this monitor is great for gaming. It's a pretty affordable one, too. Pixio monitors are one of our favorite options, especially if you want, like, a really affordable, high refresh rate monitor. Paying around, like, 160 bucks for a 165 hertz is pretty cool. Um, and this monitor makes it pretty easy to adjust it wherever you want. And if you wanted to get two of these monitors in the future, you can get a uh, dual monitor arm from them as well. You know, I'm just totally shilling here. You know, I gotta do whatever we can to support the sponsors. Uh, but we're gonna see if we can find somebody here. And uh, I can't really hear very well with these around my neck. So I might just like get attacked randomly. I have no idea what to do. Oh, oh yeah, he didn't want it. Pro gamers up in here. But yeah, we are still able to keep over 160 FPS. When we go outside, it does dip a little bit below 160, but again, when you have a high refresh rate monitor, as long as you're over 60, you're still gonna see some of the benefits of it being a high refresh rate display. Oh, here we go, another guy. Yeah, I know. Oh, where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> I killed them both. They weren't ready for it. But there you go, look at that. Good performance in Fortnite. It's to be expected. I mean, it's Fortnite. It's pretty easy to run, especially on performance mode nowadays. So yeah, good setup for that. If you want to get into some Fortnite gaming, let's go ahead and test another game, shall we? I did not even check the settings, so I'll check that in the game. But this is Apex Legends. And this game's a little bit more demanding than a game like Fortnite. So we'll probably want to run like low medium settings. Low. All right. Yep. We're on low settings. Low medium. With, with a couple of, yeah, it's, it's like low medium. Yeah. 
So that's that's fair. not medium low, low medium. Low medium. <laughs> low main. Low main. Oh god! Look oh at that. god! Dude, you know what? It's just it's like the Fortnite. It jump. is. It's just a little bit rough in the bus. It gets better when you drop. This is definitely a game that is going to push that 560 to limits. As you can tell, it's at 100 percent and is not. Oh, it moved down the 99 a little bit, but um, getting over 60 FPS is still playable. Um, but it's definitely not ideal. And this is one of the situations where you're just getting a 1080p monitor, if you mainly play Apex, you don't really need the 140 hertz because you're really not going to get much higher than 60. Uh, might make more sense for you. Dude, don't make fun of the Mozambique. Let's go do something. There was a guy right next <laughs> to you. He couldn't get a kill. Couldn't get a kill. Oh my God. I'll take it. He'll I take did some it. damage. That's what matters. Yeah, so what was your damage? More 100. than both of my teammates. Heck yeah, that's all you need. With needed. no sound, sensitivity's too high, toggle aim. I think I did pretty good at 60 FPS. But yeah, this setup, you can play games on it. It works great, can't complain too much. Uh, how about we just wrap this video up real quick? Okay guys, so overall for a $900 setup in 2021, this is actually really good. I'm surprised we're able to play Every game that we threw at it, obviously, you gotta go lower settings on most games, but honestly, if you're going for high frame rate and you're doing any esports titles where there's competitiveness going on, you're gonna run low settings anyways. And this PC is just better than going with like an APU option. It's definitely gonna be better than that. A lot of people are going like 3200G, 3400G, or the new Ryzen stuff, which it is good, but you are limited in the GPU department. So having a 560, a dedicated graphics card, allows you to play most games at lower settings, so you can at least get your foot in the door and then when the market gets better, hopefully soon, please soon, uh, you can easily upgrade this thing because the i3 could handle a higher end GPU. 1660 Super on the used market would be awesome. You could do 2060, you could do uh, whatever the 3050, maybe the 3060 if you really wanted to, might be pushing it a little bit there, but there's a lot of options you can do to upgrade this PC. So if you wanna see more benchmarks on this PC in particular, I in the top right corner, there's a video on that. But if you wanna buy anything from today's video, link in the description down below will be affiliate links and they will help us out. So big thanks to Autumn Tech once again for sponsoring today's video with this awesome monitor arm. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, in case you guys didn't know, we also have our own merch, teespring.com on Toasty Bros. Be careful buying the uh, Rec League in white. You might have your nipples show. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs>